if the woman has no eggs and men has no sperms so yeah. what is the solution for them yeah see when men have no sperms the condition is known as azoospermia where there is no sperm okay. so what happens when he gives a semen we usually centrifuge it two three times and we check and at least we should have two reports in a uh, with a certain gap mm. telling that there is no sperm then only we label the man as azoospermia yeah. now there are two types of azoospermia see in one is called obstructive azoospermia that is non obstructive what do you mean by obstruction I mean there is some problem that the sperm is not coming stopping, out yeah. yeah something is stopping mm. that means his tube somewhere is blocked the other is non obstructive means the tubes are all open but still there is no sperm this is something that we have to differentiate so first we get an ultrasound scan done for his testes to know if there is any problem in that and then we get certain hormonal tests done to distinguish between the two once the reports come and if we feel that according to the reports there is some possibility that sperm can be there then we also get his karyotype done genetic test to definitely be sure that there are no other genetic conditions he is carrying where there can be no retrieval of sperm forms so once we get these reports we we label them as obstructive and non obstructive one if he belongs to the obstructive azoospermia then we can get a testicular aspiration because there is sperm production it's only uh -huh. not coming out yes uh, so what we do For we put a needle we do a fine needle which is done under local anesthesia there is no even sedation under local anesthesia we his epididymis is uh, directly we put a needle and take out the sperms from there or through the testicular sperms so these okay. sperms are used for icsi now what if it is non obstructive azoospermia mm. then he can opt for a tessa or a micro tessa where there are very very small chances that we may get sperms the only thing is then they may not be completely mature they may be immature sperms which may not give that good results okay but the uh, other option what they can go if all these tests fail we cannot do any of these procedures then they need to go for a donor insemination now okay. how donor insemination is done through a semen bank so based on the husband's blood group his height his facial features his characteristics they are all matched and the sperm sample is ordered and that sample can be used for the insemination for the female partner which is the only choice if there is no none, any of these techniques fail so now coming to the female partner with no eggs hmm. when we think of that so there are two one thing we have to diagnose it correctly so how do we diagnose now one is ultrasound in scanning usually we observe the ovaries they will not be having any follicle seen that's when we get a doubt and we get certain blood test and hormonal test other uh, one test is the amh that is anti mullerian hormone okay so they have very low values of amh and there will be an elevated fsh hormone so both these parameters indicate the women as having probably no eggs and even the estrogen will be quite low in these women in these conditions we also get a karyotype done which is a genetic test to ensure that there are no any uh, diseases that she is carrying genetically so this uh, helps for us in the pregnancy management when she is pregnant actually so once we establish the diagnosis now we get two types of women in this see one is a person who has naturally lost all her eggs that is she has already reached her menopause that is seen in women crossing 40 45, 45 years they will years. definitely have uh, no oocytes left yeah. for them to have their yeah. natural child so in these women definitely oocyte donation is a option which is taken as a first step now there's another category of women that we see nowadays that is women less than 40 years in their 30s and in their 20s who are having no oocytes okay. so these category of women are called premature ovarian failure or early ovarian aging so these women also are diagnosed through the same parameters and they can also opt for oocyte donation now oocyte donation is a very good procedure in ivf and it has today it is done very professionally okay. so we get very good donors coming across to donate eggs and these women are all screened for all the serological problems they are screened for their egg reserve so once we establish that she is a good girl to donate her egg eggs her cycles are synchronized with the recipient the recipient that is the recipient is the patient huh. so once we synchronize their cycles the oocyte donor receives all the injections that we normally give for ivf mm. and the recipient only her uterus lining is prepared so the day we retrieve the donor oocytes the husband gives his uh, semen sample now these two the egg and the sperm are fertilized in the lab the embryo that is thus created is transferred back to the patient's uterus so this is a very good success rate achieving almost 60 70% success rate yeah, yeah. Thank <music> you.